All right, finally, just to, just to give you an uplift in the mood, right, just to, just to make you feel a little bit better, uh, the, the schools all across the country are, are, taking, are taking seriously uh, the fact that there was an academic achievement gap between uh, uh, students, uh, white students, Asian students, and black students. And, uh, and, and part of the mechanism by which they are taking this seriously and going to attack this uh, great problem that we have, which is, a, a, I think, a real problem, uh, I used to throw in Latino students in there as well, uh, what they are doing uh, in, in, for example, in um, Evanston, Illinois, which is a suburb in the north of Chicago, they are starting, how do you even say this? I don't know how, what the sensitive way of saying this, but they are studying race-based math classes and, and writing seminars as well, because there's an there's a achievement gap in writing as well. In other words, these are classes that are intended for students of the same race, taught by a teacher of the same race as the students. So the solution to the fact that black students are uh, underperforming or being outperformed by, let's say, whites and Asians is to create black-only, white-only, Asian-only, Latin-only classes. Is this going to allow black students to then improve their performance? What about black students who do really, really well? What about the overachievers? Are they going to be now held back because they are now part of the black math class? I mean, this, this will require a whole show to do, but one of the stunning developments of woke culture, critical race theory, the modern left, the, the kind of the, 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 the new left, is that they have completely and utter rejected, rejected, the idea of, of uh, segregation, of uh, integration, sorry, of integration, and embraced segregation. Indeed, many of their thinkers believe that the civil rights movement was a failure because it achieved and fought for and insisted on integrating the schools when they want the schools to be segregated. It's just mind-boggling. It's just mind-boggling uh, that this is literally actually happening. But not to worry. In San Francisco, the school board is about to vote on whether to let eighth-grade students take algebra again. Algebra for eighth-graders was banned in San Francisco schools because... Asian students were the ones taking it, doing really, really well, and everybody else felt left behind. So they banned algebra. Now, the problem with that is that San Francisco public schools are dominated by Asia. You know, there's a lot of Asians, and the Asian parents do not take lightly to this nonsense. They've been lobbying, advocating, pushing, and uh, it appears that after a 10-year battle, San Francisco is going to actually have, after a vote, allow eighth graders to take algebra again. Maybe they'll segregate it. Maybe they'll have black algebra, white algebra, Latin algebra, and Asian algebra. I wonder if it will be the case that the Asian algebra class covers the material faster than everybody else. And if that case, will we have to throttle them? Dunno, not sure. God, sick, sick that the, the, the racist now comes from the people who were victims of racism in the past. And, and the racism they want to inflict is to a large extent on themselves and on everybody else.